Awesome. Go ahead. Who wants to start? What do you know about uh, Washington State? Nothing. I know Coach Leach is the coach there. Um, a lot of respect for Coach Leach. Been a guy that I've had a lot of respect for just from afar for a long time. But other than that, I don't know anything. What's this do for recruiting down there? Yeah, I, I, you know, I just think in general in recruiting, I mean, you know, it's another really positive step forward, I think, for this football program. Uh, you know, first class bowl, um, opportunity to play a big time opponent and opportunity for this football program to continue the trend in the direction it's gone. How much do you feel like the fan base and the way you guys have played down the stretch here are really the difference maker in being picked over West Virginia for this one? Yeah, you know, I, I don't know. Um, I, I know, you know, we beat West Virginia, and so I think that part really positive, and, and I certainly think this is a football team that has continued to grow really all season long. And so uh, a young team that just continues to mature, and, um, you know, I said a little bit yesterday, continues to find ways to overcome adversity in a lot of ways. So, um, you know, great for our team, great that we get a lot more practice, and great that we get another opportunity to play a great opponent. When you, is there a point now, I know, the season's not done, but the regular season's done when you kind of look back and reflect on everything you've been, at least with the start of this season. Is it kind of crazy to think like, wow, look how far we've come. We're playing in a really good bowl game now. Yeah, you know, I, I just told our kids congratulations. I mean, the, what this group has really done all year has been, uh, been really impressive. I mean, if you think what this team's had to overcome, um, the adversity that, that really hit it. I think we've probably dealt with maybe every adverse situation really known to mankind, and, and we've been able to overcome, and, and the credit cannot go to anybody but those kids in the, inside that locker room. I mean, they've been nothing short of incredible. So I'm really proud of them, um, and again, one more opportunity to showcase itself. When no, you not. look back on the season, what are the biggest adverse challenges that you're like, okay, that that was tough to overcome for this team. Yeah, I, I think maybe once this season totally gets done, I, I'll probably have a, a ability to really reflect on that. I, I think too too early, but I mean, gosh, we can go right right up to the right up to the start of the season, you know, and getting that first game canceled in a in a really unfortunate situation. So, um, you know, all those situations plus you know have gone through, but I think by the end of it, that'll be able to really look back on that and give you a great answer on that. I know there's not really a bad bowl game to go to, but what does it mean for you guys to go to the Big 12? About this tier of bowl, you know, the Big 12's first bowl after the New Year's Six and a primetime game and those sorts of things? Well, I, I do think it, it says where we're going, you know, and, and my whole thing going into this year, and I think a really huge challenge for this year's football team was to show we weren't a flash in the pan, to show that, you know, there was finally some legitimacy to this becoming a, a real football program going in, a, in the right direction. And, you know, last year it was, you know, great to have some success, but you almost felt like everybody thought it was a fluke. And to be able to showcase that that wasn't the situation and now to only continue to push the envelope in a, in a positive direction, I think it says a lot about the character of the young men in our program and, you know, just really proud of our kids. But uh, I do think it's a big step forward. Do you have an update is, on the injuries from yesterday yet? You know, Randy, I don't. Okay. Um, I, I would tell you this. I, I do think we they're not as bad as maybe what we initially thought. Um, I think there'll be a chance that we can get all those guys back, hopefully, uh, for the bowl game. And I think by the next time we meet, um, you know, I'll, I'll definitely have a definitive. You know, um, I do think Eisworth, who didn't play yesterday, any who didn't play yesterday, some of those guys, I think will definitely be back. Spears and Meeker, I think we'll probably even know a little bit more as we go into this week. But I do think there's a positive point that both those guys have the opportunity to be back for the bowl game. You talked about the youth on the roster all, all season. What, how does the, the bowl prep and kind of how you navigate the weeks ahead kind of change maybe from what it's been in the past or is it pretty much the same? Yeah, I, I do think there'll be a lot of the, a lot of the same. You know, I, I think we're in a unique situation where, um, you know, even last week, I think there was some positive of getting those quality reps through Tuesday and Wednesday and Thursday practice. And so, you know, we'll, we'll probably go into this weekend um, with, a, with a mindset that we really want to focus on us. And then as we, you know, we take off for exams and kind of come back into bowl, bowl prep, you know, put our, our emphasis and focus on, on Washington State. But, uh, you know, for us, it, invaluable. And it was invaluable a year ago to get those practices. And I think invaluable right now for this football team to continue to get those practices. How much is the rest really going to help a guy like Brian Peavy? I know you mentioned he's been dinged up pretty much all season long. Yeah, uh, Brian Peavy's story be a really powerful one to tell I think at some point once we get to the end of the season but I uh, you know I, I you, you think about those guys that have had to play a lot of reps and I, I do think we're a lot better this year than we were a year ago but the Davids and the Brian Peavies and the Ray Limas um, you know some of those old linemen I, I you know I think just 
it's going to be really big for those guys to get a little bit of time. They need it. Um, and then, you know, we got to be really smart. I think it's a fine balance of how much time do you give them between how do you continue to prepare them to be the best they can be once we once we go play. What was the reaction from the guys when you told them and when they found out? Yeah, I think there's a really good buzz around our facility today and a lot of excitement. Um, I think our kids have a really good understanding. You know, they're 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 pretty intelligent players, and they knew I think what uh, you know what being selected to this bowl game meant. And uh, certainly, the, like I said, the credit goes to our kids. But I think a genuine excitement about the opportunity. What's the key to balancing that business trip aspect to the idea that it is a different animal? It's not you can't just say it's next week. It's a few right. weeks down the road. All the right. different things. Well, I, I think you have to have leadership within your walls in terms of balancing that because, you know, this will be the first time that there'll be some time that these guys have that they're not in that routine that, you know, you know I like and you know our kids like. Um, and so I, I think it takes great player ownership and communication this time of year to kind of handle, you know, just a new schedule and a balancing act of that schedule. But not only from, you know, now until you're really diving into true um, game prep, but then once you get down there and, and dealing certainly with, uh, you know, with uh, being somewhere new and preparing somewhere new. But uh, I think we've got great leadership, and I do think that leadership will, will really help us anchor in and be ready to go when we need to be ready to go. San Antonio as a city, what do you think that uh, – why is it getting everybody so excited just from the fan standpoint, from a destination standpoint? Well, I don't like a lot of places, but you know what? The, the one place I do like is San Antonio, a pretty cool spot. So, uh, you know, the Riverwalk, that area. Uh, really neat, obviously a lot of history, a lot of tradition to itself. Um, and then obviously the weather aspect of it, I, I certainly think will be great. So, um, you know, I, I think just in general, great place to visit and a place that I know our fan base, I, I know they'll come in full full support. What do you know about Coach Leach? <laughs> you know, I, I've read the book. Um, you know, I, I again, I, I always have respect as a young coach that, that doesn't have all the answers. I love guys that have not only had success, but sustained success. And so Coach Leach is a guy that I've watched from afar for a long time. You know, I jokingly say I read the book, but I did. Um, and, and, you know, I think he's a guy that, number one, he's not trying to be anybody else. He's trying to do something. And I think he's always had the ability to be the best version of himself he can be. So what he did at Texas Tech, what he's done now at Washington State, um, really impressive and somebody I have a lot of admiration for. What did you take away from the book? <laughs> yeah, you know, I don't, I, I, the sword, you know, I, I, the, the sword aspect of it probably more than anything. But uh, no, I, I, just a great read. And, and I think what I took away from it more than anything was a, a guy that really believed in his values and doing things his way and that those values have allowed him to have great success. Have you guys met before? Never. Awesome.